Hi, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is going to be your general reading for October 2020. Uh, these will be short readings this month. I am uh, scheduled for oral surgery on Monday, and I had a whole bunch of other things happening, but here we go. Um, we're going to be using the before tarot. We will be clarifying with Levitas Sibila, and we'll be pulling a golden Nostradamus card, okay? Uh, to wrap the reading up. Let me just get a little bit more of a shuffle and we're going to get directly into the reading here. Okay, let me get the camera set straight. There we have it. I'm going to put one more. Well, six of wands. Congratulations there, uh, Scorpio, you just uh, completed some kind of achievement, um, whether this is a promotion or uh, something of that nature. Congratulations. And if you've been waiting on news, this says that, yeah, okay, this is a card of victory. The moon. We do know that we have this really interesting moon that's occurring all through the month of October. In the in the open reading that I posted the other day, I gave you some dates. Um, but what is also interesting is that we will have two full moons this month. The moon occurring today is the harvest moon. It's usually the first full moon after the uh, fall equinox, which occurred back in September 22nd. And then at the end of the month, we'll have another full moon. And I'm not sure if that full moon's also going to be in Aries or not. I do know that this full moon will be in the sign of Aries. Okay, so there's our moon. There's the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, not bad at all. Here is the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Interesting. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is some kind of uh, career, job, finance, project, um, creative endeavor um, that uh, will come to fruition per se by the moon or at least will move itself here with this Knight of Pentacles. It's going to be moving and it will be activated by this full moon. But I do want you to keep in mind that Mercury will be retrograding, I want to say October 13th or 14th. I believe that is correct. So expect this to go backwards and forwards, all right? But it looks as though the situation is moving. Six of cups. Wow. Ten of cups. Now, look at this card. Because normally the ten of cups, the couple's back is to us. The kids are playing. We see the house in the background. You know, the sun is shining, there's a rainbow out, but here we see that there's rain and they are running for their lives. <laughs> so, and that's a 10. So that tells me that that energy is going to be changing, okay? Um, Uh-oh. The Hierophant. Hmm. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Scorpio, this is a really good reading. Uh, the only thing I see a bit of trepidation about is this Nine of Coins and this Ten of Cups. What is underneath the deck? The Queen of Wands. Now, we all know that no matter what sign we are, um, that we can all embody the masculine and the feminine. But we can also embody any type of uh, sign. And this just tells me that whether you are male or female, if you are male and you take on the, the uh, feminine qualities, then this is really about you um, taking control of some type of creative project or endeavor uh, in your life. Now, I have one major arcana here, and this is the Hierophant card. Uh, I'm sorry, two major arcanas. I have the Moon and the Hierophant. Um, now, I can tell you that on October 13th, the moon will be conjuncting Venus. The moon will be at 10 degrees. Venus will be at 13. So that's a three degree conjunction. I usually like to look at the one degree orbs where they're spot on. 
but that's still relatively close. Um, let me take a look to see what I can see uh, with these cards here next to these two um, major arcana cards. I also have two sixes here, okay? And that's also important. So let's first take a look at this six of wands, shall we? The six of wands with the hierophant. It implies that there may be someone around you who is supportive and generous and who will assist you when needed. And I do think you're gonna kind of need some help through this, okay? This person understands the needs of others and responds accordingly. This could even be yourself. This person is well established within themselves and their life and is in a position to be of the utmost help and assistance. If you were to ask for assistance from this person, it is likely they will, that they would be generous towards you with their time and knowledge. And I don't know if this is telling me that someone is someone else is waiting to be crowned or put into that position. You see how the crown is about to be placed on his head? Like maybe this person is going to be promoted and given this position, but, but this person is also going to be in it. Once they get that position, they're going to be in a, in a position to help you and will help you. Okay. There's a lot going on underneath this moon. Let's take a look at these nine of pentacles. And I do have one, two, three pentacles here. Okay. Two cups. Um, no, three cups and a wands card. So um, it's equally weighted with the coins and the cups. So this is emotions. This is money. This is um, being emotionally tied to something, but it could also be to something that you are doing or wanting to do. That's what the coins always represent, the, the actual doing of things. So uh, nine of pentacles here. Let me take a look. Now, the Nine of Pentacles with the Ten card is an indication of travel, journey, short trips, and vacations. And this could be simply telling you that there's going to be some bad weather that may prevent you or it may catch you off guard. We do know that sometimes when Mercury shows up, there are weather events. Mercury does not cause bad weather, but it just tends to be a pattern. He's a trickster. Um, let's take a look at this Six of Cups here where are my cups am I in my no my cups are way back here let me find these cups for you the six of cups with the moon brings a message that an issue or regrets from the past have not been fully resolved and remain aware uh, wait a minute have not been fully resolved and they may come back to haunt you so keep your emotions balanced and remain aware of the emotional lesson of the experience. It may remain to haunt you until the issue is fully understood and dealt with. Do not fall into the same trap again. It is a time to look realistically at a situation or issue that has not been going to plan of late to see where you may have misjudged or cal miscalculated. It could be a timing issue. With the Hierophant, it is asking you to look carefully at all of your, the Six of Cups with the Hierophant. It is asking you to look carefully at all your close relationships as some adjustments may need to be made. But it does tell of meaningful relationships that are currently shrouded in misunderstandings. With the moon, it can indicate that some concerns from the past will come up and suggest that someone feels misunderstood. I think there's a, been a miscommunication here. This is what this, these two cards together are telling me. So this may have to do, because sometimes he will show up with contracts. So there may be some misunderstanding in the contract. It may be something that really you should take a look at um, because it may be something that's been done to you before. So get a second pair of fresh eyes and look over that. Um, you know, we are under a Mercury retrograde. This could also mean that the situation is going to go back and forth because there has been a, or will be a misunderstanding coming up due to some type of contractual issue. So the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. 
When placed next to the hierophant, it indicates that marriage plans will have a positive outcome. Well, there you have. Well, but what's a marriage if not a contractual issue? So this may be not necessarily an actual marriage marriage, but a, a marriage in the sense that you're about to commit yourself to a new job or a new position, something of that nature. Okay. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, I don't think it'll tell me about that, but let me just take a look to see. Uh, it's kind of funny sometimes. Ah, with the Aces, yes. With the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Brings a message that an important union could be a major step in your life. It may be the beginning of a long-term positive relationship. Okay? So, you know, like I said, this could actually be a marriage. Someone coming back from your past. Sometimes that's what this card can represent. Um, but at the same time, it could be speaking of a job or a new career or a new position. Okay? A long-term positive relationship. That could be anything. So let me take a look at this Ace of Cups and then tell you typically the meaning of two pentacles represents some new kind of commitment, marriage, and or engagement. And again, that can encompass a lot of different things. So I just don't want you to read into the idea that it's a marriage because it, it you know, it could be anything, to be, <laughs> to be honest with you. Nothing about the um, Ace of Cups next to any of these things but two aces most definitely will tell of a wedding or a new marriage commitment and or engagement or proposal let's put it that way so if i had to look at a card i'm just going to take a look really at this ten of pentacles because to me this implies that you're waiting for news to come in and you're already in a really good position because you're standing in your yard and your finery with your grapes all your pinnacles on the bush uh you know maybe this will be an op and sometimes i've seen this card show up when it when it speaks to the idea of a brand new project or financial opportunity besides a marriage or an engagement coming in okay fish sometimes represent prosperity and finances all right um please don't let your past experiences okay uh, dictate your actions or your inaction get a handle on that as best you can so I'm simply going to take a look at this ten of pentacles here <laughs> let's see yeah, they all got caught out in the rain and you know maybe that some don't get caught out again you know do your homework and get get a check on your fears and your emotions and if this is some kind of revenge thing, or maybe you're having to work with somebody that you had a misunderstanding with, maybe, you know what I mean? You know, kind of put that to the side right now because this looks like it's going to be a really good opportunity for you. Don't hold that grudge, Scorpio. Let it go. <laughs> the desperate jealousy. That's that holding of that grudge there. The il nemico. And the Doctore, okay? The Desperate Jealousy is that card of hashing over old things, not being able to forget. It speaks to jealousy, treachery, betrayal. Um, it could also be someone who's trying to uh, threaten some kind of things to make you fearful. We see the bottle there at his foot. Maybe this is the idea that... Um, you know, there's been some kind of alcohol abuse or maybe something was said when you were drinking. The Il Nemico, this card comes up to say that if there's somebody around or somebody who may be coming up that you have an instant dislike for, um, trust whatever that is telling you, okay? But just because you have an instant dislike for the person doesn't mean you have to cut off your nose to spite your own face. You figure out another way to work around it. And that is what the Doctor Day is coming to say. It may mean that you might need some kind of specialist help in order to get over this. But just as a, um, as a situation, it means a situation in which there is going to be somebody there to help you with this. Okay? Um, usually he will always show up as the type of individual 
who will help you. Now, sometimes this card will show up as a significator card to tell you that this is going to be the individual that you might be having problems with. Okay? So I do, maybe this is somebody that has a grudge against you or there's some bad blood or bad things or some misunderstandings between you. But you really, really, really get a handle on that um, so that you can take hold of this opportunity. You're going to have to let bygones be bygones. That's really what the cards are telling me. Okay? Let me give you this uh, interpretation of the... Um, It represents depression, dejection, apathy, anguish, and a lack of enthusiasm for the future. Uh, it speaks to somebody whose outlook on life, they've given up and they don't want to fight anymore. Well, you know, sometimes that's good. You know, instead of fighting, you can turn that energy into something else. Um, but it also indicates not seeing beyond the present moment or even being stuck in the past, unable to resolve some problem without finding the necessary inner resources to pull through. Um, sometimes this card can warn of a toxic environment and of toxic people around you. It says the person involved, you may not even realize that you are in this in, in environment and that the people may seem extremely nice, but invariably this turns out to be false, revealing that those nice people were deeply envious and have been scheming behind your back to cause you ruin. It indicates treachery, slander, gossip, and envy, but it also warns of danger and a danger coming from uh, inside your circle of acquaintances. If this is a romance, it indicates extreme jealousy, envy, and possessiveness, as well as a selfish love centered around self-gratification or social climbing. Financially, it, can, it indicates heavy losses that could very well lead you to suicide. Sometimes it indicates heavy debt, insolvency, and overspending, as well as trouble with the law, and a cutthroat work environment. Now, it says the card warns you that you may be about to trust someone who will ultimately lead you to your ruin. Okay. Let me read to you the Il Nemico. I think it's a very important that I give you this information here. Um, the Il Nemico. Hold on. It represents a known enemy. So that's why I say it's somebody that you know from your past who may, you know, you got a position. Maybe they wanted the position. That's what that is. He's not been crowned yet. Maybe the person wanted that position. Okay. This is someone already that you don't like. And you suspect that the person is plotting against you. And if that is the case, this card comes to confirm that this is true. It is usually always a man. So this could be a doctor or someone in a professional standing. He doesn't have to necessarily be a doctor, but anybody with a degree who holds some type of authority. Okay. The person has an open dislike for you. Uh, it is someone whose ambition and desires and ego clashes with yours. And the person is waiting for you to be at a vulnerable moment before they strike. It says that be careful. This enemy can also be someone who seems nice but does not inspire trust and gives you a bad feeling when you are in the person's company. The card warns that you should trust your gut instincts about this person or situation and to keep him or her at him at arm's length. Okay. More broadly, it represents someone who cannot mind their own business and who can be a serious nuisance uh, and downright harm and with and downright harm you by prying and meddling. It can also indicate someone who cannot see reason, even if the truth is presented to them. All right. Now, it can sometimes be a rival, someone who openly does not want a couple to be together, a mean-spirited lover, uh, or a vindictive ex-husband. The person is a true snake. One of you have become the sworn enemy to the other. Uh, financially, it can indicate snares, tricks, and the danger of signing documents that we do not fully understand and businessmen who should not be trusted. It also refers to known competitors and to embezzlement, as well as marking the person it refers to with a good dose of inexperience, usually indicating that they do not have a clue as to what they are doing, regardless of their immovable opinions and rigid outlook. Professionally, this is a person who always works against you. His agenda is always personal and he, rankers, he nourishes rancor against you. He can be a colleague. 
okay? It says generally it indicates cunningness and the person has a warped perception which only fuels their vindictiveness. They're not interested in observing any fact that may disprove his biased view of you. On a broader level, it is a harbinger of unpleasant events, scandal, gossip, pettiness, threats, blackmail, something or someone who can or will become dangerous. Like a card, like a snake, this card indicates someone with a forked tongue, a spreader of lies, maliciousness, and gossip. Okay? Now, this Dr. Day, usually, and I'm, he's, he's showing up to me as not only a person, but a situation. And he is the king of wands, by the way. We have this. Okay? Uh, the third meaning of the, the Dr. Day, we know that it is someone who may hold a, he could be a doctor, someone who's, you know, telling you all kinds of crazy things and keeps telling you that you got to come back or whatever. Um, he could be a lawyer. It's always somebody with a degree, a university degree. Okay. Now, it says that there's an allegorical meaning, and this represents a type of behavior, a situation, a bad habit, a grudge, a broken heart that needs healing or fixing because it is at the root of the problem or the crisis that you are undergoing at the moment. It highlights the urgency to reconsider and change a flaw within you or the person indicated by this card so that you can attract a better future. Now, to me, what that means is that you're going to have to try to make amends with this person in some way, shape, or form, okay? Because this looks to be a really, really good um, something happening for you. You're just going to have somebody who may come in. There's going to be somebody who can help you. So if these are two separate people, okay, one person is going to be your enemy. And if you get a bad feeling about that person, trust that. There also could be somebody else who's going to be able to help you with this situation. If on the off chance that we're speaking about the same person, okay, um, if you're able to rectify the situation, that may be the help that you need, okay? So don't hold a grudge. Don't, this time, don't sting, okay? <laughs> Number 29, the jester or the fool, if I'm not mistaken. The jester, when on his face he wears a frown, he cannot pretend to be a clown. At, in, an event is coming that you have been dreading for some time, but do not worry, as this occurrence will bring you good luck, good news, and renewed energies. There you have it. That's what I have for you, Scorpio, for October 2020. I hope that message helped. And until next time, good luck. Namaste.